Welcome. In a 9th grade to 10th grade geometry class, we often ask students to work with formulas for their areas and surface areas and volumes of various solids and so forth. Um, but these formulas often come out of nowhere, because basically to prove them properly, one needs calculus. And that's not going to happen in a 9th grade class. So it's very frustrating to me as a teacher to be just giving students formulas, do this because you need to know it, and just plug in the numbers to play with the formula that way. Not very satisfying. So what I'd like to do is give a sense of where these formulas come from in a way that you could explain to youngsters if you so chose. Uh, the formula I want to talk about this time is the surface area of a circular cone. So here's a cone and we'll do a nice circular one, it doesn't be circular, if it's a polygonal base people call them pyramids instead of cones but it's all fine. So apparently the lateral area, that lateral just means the side area of this beast, is given by, we need to know its radius and we need to know its slant height, the length along one edge of it, we'll call that S. And apparently the lateral area of this beast is pi r s. And if you want the whole surface area, the surface area in total will be the lateral area, the area of all the side stuff, plus the area of the base pi r squared. But uh, you can see where that comes from, it's just the area of the circle, circular base. It's this part of the formula that's mysterious. So let me explain where that comes from. All right, to do that, let's go back a step and look at um, a cone with a polygon for a base that's usually known as a pyramid. So let me draw my picture. Let's assume I have a nice polygonal base in some cone like this. And we'll assume everything's regular, because I guess I assume my circular cone was a nice right cone with the center point, with the cone point above the center and all the rest. So here is a, a pyramid. Um, let's assume the base has n sides with side length x, 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 x everywhere. And I like to work out the lateral area of this beast. Well, to do that, I need to know the area of one of these triangles, and everything's nice and regular, all these triangles will be congruent, so it'll be the same area everywhere. So it would be just n times the area of one of those triangles, n times a half, its base, which is x, and its height. Now I've got to be careful here, the height is actually, the height of the triangle is along here, the slant height of the cone. There we go. So that's, most people usually call that s, because it's the slanty height, not the actual height of the tent pole for that construction. So there it is. There's a formula for the lateral area of a pyramid with a regular polygon for the base. Well, let me just rearrange this formula. Let's put the n and the x together, so it's half, times nx times the slant height. And this nx has a nice interpretation. It's n of these x's, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way around, n of them. That's just the perimeter. So some people like to memorize the formula. I don't know why I memorize anything. The formula for the lateral area of a pyramid is half the perimeter times the slant height. Grand. But then, to get to a cone, all we have to do is ask ourselves, and this is actually a calculus idea, but this, this is still accessible to kids nonetheless, what if this uh, polygon at the bottom had 100 sides? Well, it'd be pretty hard to draw, but it'll look pretty circular. And if it had, say, 1,000 sides, or a million sides, or 10 million sides, it'd be very hard to tell the difference between that particular pyramid and a proper circular cone. Now, where is the slant height on the true on this, the limiting figure? Well, the slant height would be this guy here. Da -da -da -da. And what's the perimeter going to be? Well, the perimeter is going to be what looks like a, to us human eye, a circle, and that's going to be given by 2 pi r. So according to this formula, if I take this to the extreme case, when everything's kind of like a 10 gazillion sides at the bottom of the polygon, I must have the lateral area is half the perimeter 2 pi r times the slant height. Two's cancel, therefore, I will conclude that in the most extreme case that the lateral area of a circular cone is pi r s. Ninth graders can handle this argument. Plus it introduces ideas of a limit and sets the stage for what you might want to do in a pre-calculus slash calculus class. All good. And in other videos I'll explain other geometry formulas. Thanks very much.